today's world, many of our students haven't built things like bicycles and trains and airplanes. And they, that idea of, of building models kind of went passe. And we see that with robotics too. So we have so many students that haven't had those experiences. At the same time, that is a skill in itself. At, and then we need people that can program it. And then we need people that can actually drive this stupid thing. It's a whole, they're completely different skill sets. So the person that drives our robots, uh, last year it's the two sitting behind us at the moment. <laughs> they did pretty much all of it. Um, but hopefully this year we're going to sit and try to, to spread those, those kind of things out. Uh, this will be our first year to, to really try to do more than just one or two of the university events nationwide. Uh, robotics is the only sport on campus where we play against Division I schools. So when we go out and play, it's against the Purdue's and the U of I's and, and the Northwestern's. Uh, kind of a different competitive league for us. And last year we proved that through a little luck, we can win. We'll see uh, Secretary of State, the Vice President, as in the Vice President of the United States, Congressmen, Senators, those kind of political people show up because the same group of kids that do this are the same ones that we want empl as employees for those new factories that are coming. So if you go to any of our new production kind of companies, everything's robotics. And so having that ability to program and understand what it can and can't do is a tremendous advantage. And so we're seeing lots of students going straight from high school to programming machines for places like Caterpillar and uh, Mitsubishi. And to think about coming out of college and getting one of those union, coming out of high school to get one of those union kind of jobs is a phenomenal kind of thing because there's just not a lot of them in today's world. And so that's one of those high tech, high pay kind of jobs. Um, as in many of the vocational skills are coming back. But again, in robotics, we tend not to get messy, dirty, oily, those kind of, <laughs> kind of things. You're a sophomore, yes? Yes. Yeah. Came last year and just wanted to do robotics. I mean, that's, I, I have no idea his academic background, but he came in and like so many students do, says, Dr. Miller, I want to do this. And the wonderful thing about Milliken is I said, okay, what do we need? And we went and bought everything. And that's pretty much the way things here work. And then this year we went around trying to recruit people. Uh, having this space has been a wonderful addition for us because as you can tell from the background, we can pretty much build anything we want to in here. Uh, it gives us a place to come and meet as a group, start to build that community, but at the same time, build parts later when we get a little more into this. So we have the ability to, to print in plastics, we have the ability to cut in both ceramics, metals, PVC. Um, so it allows us to build a lot of our own parts should they choose to want to do that. 